Welcome back to the Cedric Live Show. I'm still here with Rajiv Ruparelia, the Managing Director of the Ruparelia Group. And joining us is Francis Nkuru Nunji, the Founder and Chief Operating Officer of Sente, which is a payment, credit, and what was the last thing? Shopping, Shopping app. Yeah. Uh, it, it, and I hear you guys have done quite well. I think it's a, it's, it's a relatively new technology. And uh, you've... Uh, uh, you're at a stage when you're sort of... You, how many years have you been in operation? Well, um, I've been around since uh, about 2013. Yes. Um, through all that time, we were just busy grappling with the core of, you know, of, of the whole platform and, and, and the technology to get it to the point at which we could be able to launch a consumer-ready app uh, by 2017. And so all that groundwork led to it, uh, a consumer-facing mobile app. Yes. Um, that was built to uh, switch the typical Ugandan from the way we made payments. You remember, um, we'd have to line up in a bank to uh, pay your utility bill, umeme, yaka. Yes. And the world was going to uh, digital, and it was our opportunity to make Uganda go digital quickly. So we set up this mobile app that would enable you to, from the convenience of your home, pay any of the bills that you have by yourself for airtime. Be it in the middle of the night, be it in the morning, you wouldn't have to walk out and get mugged by a thug just trying to watch some TV. So we do support payments from uh, all the vendors uh, that you currently can pay for uh, at a normal shop, which is DSTV, GoTV, Airtime for MTN, Airtel, Airtel, Africell, pretty much all of them. Uh, as well as some very interesting, unique uh, offerings that we have brought into the platform. Say, for example, movie tickets. Currently, if you want to get a movie ticket for yourself, you have to go to the cinema, line up in a crazy queue, get the bad seat, and still get led for your movie. And right now on the center app, you can just buy yourself a movie ticket, select the preferred seat you want, pay through mobile money, your bank card, and we do support Visa, MasterCard, and American Express, as well as credit, which is proprietary to us. If you don't have some cash, your girlfriend is calling you off the hook, just go into the app, buy two tickets, and pay us back slowly when you can. And in that kind of fashion, we believe we are revolutionizing the way uh, the young and the old make payments for their vital services here in Uganda. And alongside movies, we have events. We, one of the biggest digital runners for Blankets and Wine, every time the event is happening, we do resell uh, most of their online tickets. Yes. Uh, so, and we have some crazy offers that we do give our customers. So being a center customer does not only come with convenience, but it comes with added value to the consumer, in every transaction you perform on Sente, you get cash back. Whether you're buying airtime, whether you're paying a utility bill, we give you money back just for being on, on the platform. We love our customers that much. Let me ask you something. Where did you go to school? Where did <laughs> I like you grow up? Where did you go to yeah. school? So uh, I actually did go to school here, locally. Yes. Um, locally, I like in... In yeah. speak apartments. Oh, I wish. <laughs> where, 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 where did you go to school? So um, I went to school at uh, Shimoni. That's my primary school. Yes. I was a public school uh, by then, which is now a very interesting building by my colleague over here. Um, then I did go to a couple of secondary schools here. Yes. Um, to interview college, uh, went to Nali SS. Yes. And uh, had a stint at Macquarie University. Yes. Where I... Uh, I, I pursued a computer science degree. Yes. Uh, however, I didn't feel challenged enough. I don't know whether that's an interesting perspective on that. But uh, I decided to pursue uh, an MBA instead. So I did uh, 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 Harriet Watch University, Edinburgh Business School. Oh, you went MBA. to Edinburgh? Yeah, but I'm doing it, I did it long distance because by then I was already running business. Yes, yes. And was, yes. I wouldn't have the time. Okay. Or the efficiency to leave a okay. young starting business yes. and be away from it for a while. Right. So I had to take on the opportunity to study that while I, I still run the business. 
Yeah, because you, you founded uh, Sente. I am one of the co-founders. We are uh, about four co-founders of okay. Sente. Um, so it's an interesting story how we met. We were at uh, one of these competitions for uh, developers. Yes. And at that competition, I was running a team, and we were trying to run a product called Mobi Visa. Yes. MTN recently launched a, a product where you could, when you die, you can use your mobile money to buy a Visa card or a MasterCard, actually. Yes. And pay for products online. Back in 2012. Yes. That is what, that is the idea we were trying to put on the market. Yeah. And so um, one of the uh, attendees of this event uh, picked interest in what you know we were pitching, and more so picked interest in the people. Yes. And approached me, and then we had a chat. And you set it all up. It's been seven years later. Yeah, and it's and doing really well. It's doing good. Yes. So I'm going to go back to Rajiv a little bit. First of all, Rajiv, what, what do you think of uh, this, this technology, this innovation? Um, Look, I'm, I'm, I'm not yet in the tech industry. Yes. Um, I, I know um, tech is one of the fastest growing industries in Africa. Yeah. Especially fintech. Um, I think it's the third or fourth fastest industry, if I'm not wrong, he, you can yeah, correct me, is. In, in Africa. Yeah. Um, our group has not yet explored into it. Um, I think it is a, a great business to get into, but um, for me, who's, who's, who's a traditional businessman, um, I've not yet really found myself. My, on the other hand, my wife had started up her online business in the UK. Yeah. Um, she was setting up a boutique portal. Yes. Um, where she was trying to solve... Um, in England, you have a lot of these old historical boutiques that are slowly dying because of the big uh, corporates who are taking over the market. Yeah, the big brands, yeah. The big brands. But they are predominantly niche individuals with hand labor or specialized skills. Um, these are your shoemakers, your watchmakers. Um, Savile Row type people, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But they're not marketing gurus or they don't know how to expose their brand. Yeah. And what she was trying to do was to expose their brand to the online platform yeah. and try and promote their products and keep the value of their stories alive. So look, I know in America, I know in England, um, supermarkets are starting to slow down their sales. Yeah. Um, you can talk about retailers complaining about the online sector dominating. Yeah. Um, but I still think Africa has a long way to go, in my opinion. Yes. I think Africa... In any, in any form or format, we're still behind and we still have a lot of catching up to do. Yes. Um, if you look at the internet revolution, it is moving very fast in Africa. Most people don't even know that the cost of a megabit in Uganda, 10 years ago, used to be $1,200. Yes. Okay? Today, even a megabit is about $150 to $140. Right. Today you have people complaining about small costs <coughs> when it even comes to downloading photos, videos on social media. Yes. So until, in my opinion again, until our, our basis infrastructure improves yes. and the cost of data goes down, only then would we see a huge boom in the, in the industry. Yeah. I think also we're, we're not yet fully literate on the IT uh, IT, fintech, retail sector, still today Ugandans are in, in, a, in a mentality where if you want to buy something, you have to go and you give cash and you take your product. Yes. It's very, very, very difficult to say, give me your money and in one or two days your product will come. Yes. In England you have companies like Amazon who have Amazon Prime, within four hours they've done the delivery. Yeah. Again, we don't have the logistics set up in Uganda yet. To do that. a four-hour delivery from the point you order, the payment is received, and the good is delivered to you. Anywhere in the country. Exactly. Yes. And this comes down to the distribution centers. So now when we come back, you know, we, we, when we come back, um, uh, we're going to talk a bit of, uh, more about how uh, the, the Ruparelia Foundation has impacted education in this country. 
and by extension, young innovators like uh, uh, my brother here. So uh, we'll cut to commercial and we'll be back to discuss this.